What's up everybody? So today we are doing a Drake beard. As you guys can see, this is the before and we are turning this into a masterpiece. So step one and anything in cutting hair, prep the hair. So as you guys can see, I'm combing the hair into its natural state. Although it is a beard, treat the beard as if it was the top of the head, okay? Next step, we are creating the shape of the beard. So you guys can see, I'm inspecting a lot of angles. First things first, we are doing the mustache. The mustache is important because it gives you more of how high the beard will go and how low. And make sure you don't make it too thin or too thick. So this is the jawline. For this particular beard, Drake creates more of like a very strong beard. And by that, I mean, he creates the jawline a lot more aggressive, meaning that it makes his jaw look like Thanos or something, right? Where it's like, you, you see that shape where it's very like, I wouldn't say a square, but the corner of that beard is very shaped into like an edge. So for this part right here, we're working on the bottom of the beard. I like to imagine the shape of the bottom that we're creating. Again, Drake's beard is a very, very strong, blocky looking beard. So I want to create like a straight line that matches the length that the beard has. The blending. If you're not a barber, don't get too overwhelmed with this. I'm going to give you guys the steps. So let's have some fun. Step one, bald line. For me, I like to create this very, very strong blended beard. So I want to give that line just right under that earlobe. And once you create that bald line, make sure that everything else on top of it is completely bald. Because if the better you blend a bald line, the more blurry your beard is going to look. Now it's time to fade. So right here, I'm doing a one closed all the way. And I like to do this technique where I use the width of my finger just right under that bald line. Or you could use the comb, it's up to you. Now we have the number two guard. And the reason why I like to use a two guard is because it's like a safe guard for me. I'm not gonna use a one guard in that same section that I have a two guard because if I use a one guard, it's gonna be too short or we're gonna create a hole. So for this part, you guys can see that I'm very, very light with my guidelines because all I wanna do is prep the blend that we're about to create. So here we're using the no guard to blend the bald line that we've created right under the earlobe. This is very important. This is like one of those tools that you could either create a nice blended beard or you could create a choppy looking beard. So you guys are going to see that I'm using the corners of the blade because we want to feather our way into this blend. Okay, so after you do the bald line, we are gonna blend it with the half guard, same technique, which is the feathering technique with the no guard, and we work our way down. After you've blended, now it's time for us to create this bald line. A lot of beards become artistic looking beard once this bald line is very, very smooth. So this balder that we're using right here is the wall shaver. It makes that bald line look a lot more aggressive, but if you blend it just fine, I promise you guys, you're gonna have a blended beard. After you, uh, after you created that, we're doing a one and a half guard close, going with the grain on the mustache. It just makes the beard look so much better. Now it's time to use the razor. So one technique with the razor, you want to tug the skin away from where you're going to put the pressure towards. So the reason why we created the shape up before we started the razor is because when you stretch the skin, it messes up the shape of the beard. If 
If you see certain hairs or anything that's bothering you throughout the haircut for the beard or the hair, just get rid of it right away because you don't want to forget about it. In this case, I saw a couple things. Maybe this hair right here, right under the earlobe, it's a little bit more darker. So I'm going to go back to the first step, which is the bald line, and I'm going to use the same technique I used earlier. And towards the end, I'm using a two and we're gonna open it all the way and we're gonna go with the grain so we could even out the hair. And you see how I just comb it in its natural state? That way we could see it in its natural state. That's why we're combing it as we go. So when he gets out the shower and all that, his beard is gonna be laying perfectly fine. And there you go, let's hit the bottom. Same technique as we did on the top. You guys don't have to do it like this. You can even lay him back, but the technique is always gonna be the same. Stretch the skin and then apply pressure at the opposite direction. So we're using the Clean Sweep FBN Beard Oil. A lot of our clients love it, and I'll even put a link to where you guys can buy this particular bottle. And just about a little bit, and we're gonna spread it towards the beard. It gives it a little bit of a shine. See what I'm doing right here? I'm spreading it out with the comb. And just a nice little touch, man, to finish up this Drake beard. And once you see the natural state, remember, if you see any hairs that you don't like, just fix it. A lot of your clients will appreciate that. And there you go. Make sure you clean them up, no hairs before you give them the mirror. And that way they can see the beard that you've created. So check this one out. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.